Hey guys, what's up? Lethal here, playing some Team Fortress 2. And, hold on, I gotta take a drink of this ginger ale. Ugh. Ginger ale, I ha I never, ever knew it was so good. I, it was kind of... I never actually wanted to try it because I didn't know what ginger ale was, but I kind of avoided it for the most part, and when I tried it, it was pretty it was pretty good but where when I started drinking it it was um it wasn't the best pretensions I was on a boat fishing over the weekend it was on Saturday got seasick and uh, we had a doctor with us too uh, my dad's good friends with the doctor and he's like drink some ginger ale it'll help you help your stomach and I was feeling it seasickness I'll put it in the way my dad did. He said, no one ever died from seasickness, <laughs> but they wish they were. And I thought that was not true. That was the most honest thing I've ever heard, because that is exactly how I felt. I know I wasn't, I, I knew I wasn't going to die, <laughs> but I wanted to, because I felt terrible. And then after I threw up, oh god, it was awful. Just awful. But the ginger ale kind of helped. So I realized I got sidetracked. Let's get back to the to the gameplay. I usually don't ever play demo because I never actually understood how to play it. I didn't under how to play him. Whichever is correct pronoun. I mean, it's a game, so it's it, but it's a person in the game, so I guess it'd be him. Whichever. But the grenade launcher, the, you know, feed people your magic Mario pills. I never understood that completely. I, I I knew you had to get them to like land next to the guy. I didn't know hitting them with it would detonate it on, in, on you know, contact. I was kind of like, it happened? Does that? I didn't know that. And because of that, I, I started getting a few kills now that I actually understood that. And then I understood how to use the sticky launcher again using the sticky bombs. And I've I heard that the best way to use it is to not hide around a corner with like, you know, all eight of your sticky bombs on the door, but instead play cat and mouse, kind of like a Tom and Jerry kind of game. Play, uh, pretend you're Jerry running away from Tom because he's trying to, you know, eat you like he always does. And as you're running away, you place the sticky bombs behind you where you were running, and you just detonate them when he walks over them. So, you know, it, it helped me a few times. I it, on that one time on the scout, he died, and then the second time, which was like you know, right, just not more than five, ten seconds ago, and fail incoming. Yeah, this this is why I don't play demo because I still don't understand everything. If, I can't even sticky jump. I did it once in the very beginning of the thing, and I didn't even get to where I wanted to go and this time I used too many and I blew myself up so that's that's a big reason why I don't play demo so you know I don't want to give you tips on how to play demo because I you probably could get it from a better source until I actually fully understand how to play it because right now I'm so iffy case in point when I can't even sticky jump and I blow myself up but this gameplay it was just laid back I wasn't really aiming for anything although I did get a few achievements it's like when you first start out on a new game from you know Steam or Xbox or PSN whichever allows you to get achievements or rewards trophies you know whatever you want to whatever console you play on I did get a few achievements playing as this because I never actually did before and, you know, it's like when you first play the campaign on any, you know, story-driven game. This is not one of those games, but playing something like Halo or Deus Ex or something like that. When you beat, like, Mission 1, you'll get, a, get an achievement or a reward. This is pretty much one of those times I was, you know, playing this for pretty much the first legitimate time. Every time, I, every time else, I was, um... 
I was like, you know, hopping around between classes, and then I died once as a demo man, and I was like, I don't want to do this anymore, I don't get it. And this was the, you know, the first time I actually legitimately tried to do the best I could, and I think I did pretty well. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I know one thing that's been on my mind, I have not uploaded any Ghost Recon Future Soldier beta gameplay and I do have those recorded and I need to get them uploaded it's my first games when I kinda suck and when I never get to play as the ghost which was one of my biggest complaints cuz I the Russians are cool the boat arcs weird name cool squad but <laughs> the game is called ghost ghost Recon Future Soldier. I want to play as the Ghosts, and they're the ACR on the Ghost team. It's not broken, but it's by far one of the best weapons you can get. And you know, on the Bodark team, the Russians, you get an AK, you get an SVD, an AKS 74. You know, you get the you know all that basic stuff every game gives you when you play as Russians. The U.S. team, the Ghosts, because that they're based out of the U.S. It's pretty much a Cold War, and just like every other war game, Russia versus the U.S. Let's get a little originality in there, guys. Uh, they get an M110, they get a ACR, and they get a, a compact little M416 look-alike. So here's the end of the gameplay, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you enjoyed my, you know, random talking for the past seven minutes. So I will be uploading again shortly to put in those Ghost Recon Future Soldier beta gameplays. So stay tuned, and I'll see you guys then. See ya.